everyone talking about Solstice by Fragrance Dubois. The notes in this are apple, mandarin orange, bergamot, pink pepper, nutmeg, neroli, pepper, cardamom, sandalwood, vanilla, and vetiver. I love this. Uh, this is by far my favorite Fragrance Dubois fragrance that I've tried, and I just love it in general, even, in, you know, totally aside from the rest of their catalog. This, it's really fresh, but it smells more niche than the typical kind of bright, fresh fragrance in a good way. Sometimes I use that to mean maybe it's more challenging or something, but here I mean that definitely in a good way. There's a uniqueness to it. Like, it has a slight edge, but not a rough edge at all. Just, like, enough of some kind of grounding notes with a sort of spice, vetiver, uh, yeah, and stuff like that to make it so that it's not just, like, floating around bright freshness, which I like that style too, but it's interesting to see them kind of play off each other here. I think it has a lot more depth than I would think from this kind of typical, you know, citrus and whatever type of scent profile. Very intriguing smell. And I think it's classy, but not dated, not stuffy. So the very versatile would work for a pretty big variety of situations from like, you know, casual hangouts to like totally formal event. It also still totally has mass appeal. So it's not the type of niche fragrance, again, where the average person might not think you smell so great when walking by definitely worth checking out if you like uh, citrus and spice and some vetiver, I guess. It's $385 for 100 mil, very, very pricey. Uh, good longevity and moderate projection, unisex leaning slightly masculine. I believe this also reminds me of one of my all-time favorite designers, which was Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Love is Love Pour Homme edition, one of the flankers to light blue. It doesn't smell like the original light blue, light blue which that has like a vanilla ice cream note. So that's like citrus, some kind of rosemary-ish light green spice and like a vanilla creaminess sort of and I love that but that one has a little bit too much musk for me so I can't I don't enjoy it the way I used to anymore this to me is basically like a niche version of that so I really really like it definitely uh, recommend checking out a sample if the notes sound up your alley and I'll link in the description where you can get a bottle or sample